Thank you for joining me again on this Friday for another educational video. Today I'm going to talk to you about gender selection, or there's some other terms that you might hear. It's called family balancing, gender selection, gender preference. It doesn't matter what it is. It boils down to the same thing, which is identifying a particular gender of an embryo that would be selected to use for a pregnancy. So there's different reasons why patients would want to select for a particular gender. Originally, it started off by uh, identifying uh, certain diseases that were associated with a certain gender and therefore if you knew which gender an embryo was you could go ahead and then place the uh, the other gender into the uterus and not worry about that disease well because today in in vitro fertilization and some of the advanced fertility treatments that we're using we are able to routinely test the chromosomes of embryos and the gender is just part of the chromosome information that we have. They're from the sex chromosomes. Women have two X's, guys have an X and a Y. So when we get gender information about the embryos that patients create, then some patients do prefer a particular gender over another. Now, the term family balancing comes in when a family may have, say, three daughters, and they just like to have one more child and hope that it's a son, and they don't want to have two or three more daughters to have that son. So they might use family balancing in order to accomplish that. And so what they would do is go through the in vitro fertilization process, creation of their embryos, testing the chromosomes of their embryos, knowing the gender information, and then selecting the embryo of choice to be then placed into the uterus for a pregnancy. When that pregnancy takes place, we then know what the gender is right from the start. So gender selection can be beneficial in avoiding certain disease states or it can be used in order to try to avoid unwanted pregnancies. And so keep this in mind, if gender selection seems something that you and your partner might be interested in learning more about, please contact us at NCRM. We're happy to provide more information to you. Thank you.